Hello. Okay, so 56, 47, 38. What do all of these numbers have in common? Well, they are all also the number 11. 155, also the number 11. 29, mm, a little different. So right now we are in the number, the master number 11. We are working through master number 11 energy. Um, and this is all related to the study of numerology, uh, which is a variant of the math that we understand and we speak to in our present world, but it has a little bit of a different take and more of a spiritual um, energetic perspective, which often renders it useless <laughs> in the scientific, Western scientific world where things are a little more strict. Um, but the numbers are very important and they have significant energy. And I know that we all know about 1111 and 11 as its own uh, powerful energy. But there are these variants of 11 showing up all around us. Like I said, 38. 3 plus 8 equals 11. 47. 4 plus 7 equals 11. 56. 5 plus 6 equals 11. 111, even I will say, is the variant. It's a variant of um, 11, 311, 911, 811, 711, 411, the 411. Um, we're seeing 11 be a really, really dominant energy right now. Um, and the reason is, is like I said, we are working through the master number 11 um, and through in the tarot, what we would call the justice card. So what does this mean? Right now, there could be major ideological upgrades or shifts happening when it comes to the spiritual systems that we engage with. Um, I made a longer video about this on my YouTube channel. I was just channeling. Um, and what was coming up is that there is uh, an addressing of the wounds called by the cycles that have resulted from the spiritual pillars that govern us. What are the pillars of our spiritual systems that we use to mark our understanding of truth, to mark our understanding of morality, of ethics? What are the rules, the systems, the ideas, the truths that govern us spiritually? Because right now, through the justice num card, through the number 11, we are digging up those pillars and asking if they still resonate. Now, I know that my astrology girls will say, well, age of Aquarius, that's also what's happening. I know that my sidereal astrology girls will say it's not Aquarius yet. So I know that there's different conversations happening in the astrological world. But numerology wise, um, the number 11 is really relevant right now. Funnily enough, it comes along the number of eight, which is also very obviously prevalent right now as we all see. Um, but I want to speak specifically to the number 38 and talk about what the significance of 38 days from now might be. Uh, 38 days from now will be March 10th, 2024, which will be the number 48. This is the 411. So this is some information for you to know. It will be the number 48 on March 10th, 2024. Um, and by then we will be shifting into hanged man energy or 1212 energy. Um, 1212 also 33. You could see that as 33. Um, <laughs> so this is significant because this is also a shift into Pisces kinds of energy. This is an energy of you've already decided at this point that you are done with the spiritual system, the belief system, or the perspective, but it's, it is spiritual. 
the ideas that you have allowed to govern you for this far along. And this really has to do with your morals, your ethics, the things that keep you up at night, your guilty conscience, you know, whatever the right and the wrongs, the good and the bad, the things that decide those things, what's good, what's bad. Um, there's been a shift. There's been a falling apart. This could be related to religion, religious institutions falling apart, churches falling apart, um, literally or, you know, um, as a system, uh, countries, you know, and their belief system changing. There could be, you know, a statistic that comes out that shows, you know, that this country, which used to be predominant in Catholic people, uh, you know, there, there's been a dra drastic drop in that belief system. There's major changes happening to our spiritual beliefs. And by March 10th, uh, 2024, we will be entering into the hanged man, which is the active decision being the decision has been made to die. Basically, the decision has been made to end your existence within this spiritual system, to end your engagement with this spiritual system, which is the willing taking on of the end you know you willingly accept it it's the existential man the existential person human being who confronts existentialism with bravery and also just acceptance there's no more resistance the hanged man ties himself up to the tree and they're like all right <laughs> and it is what it is it's not necessarily i'm done it's not necessarily i give up it's just that it is what it is and what's happening around does not matter anymore because your spiritual system has fallen away, which means your reality has fallen away. The material means nothing without the spirit. And when the spiritual system falls away, you become completely detached from your material reality because what was attaching you was spiritual. Um, so we are going to see a huge, huge level up wave of acceptance. There could be a wave of release. But there could just be a lot of um, the the way that this could take form in terms of a revolution is the resistance could be a lack of attachment to um, to the things that governed our faith and to the things that kept us from behaving certain ways or doing certain th things, you know, going to certain lengths because of this belief. You know, when those things start to fall away, when you kind of put your hands up, then we see a more, um, see the more dominant primal nature take over because the spirit's no longer here. The spirit is now in meditation land. <laughs> um, it's a very powerful energy that's happening. That shift, it will be 38 days from today, which is February 1st, um, 2024, which the energy of today is 38. So 38 days from today will be March 10th, 2024. That day is 48, also known as um, three. Um, and it's also, what was I saying? 12, 12. So the number 33 can also be significant, but also looking at four and eight. When we reach that 48 day, we are also in one way or another kind of at the halfway completion of understanding exactly what the year eight is meant to bring and what eight is meant to signific signif signify, signify, signify. By the time we reach March 10th, 2024, which is fast, right? That's pretty fast for to be having these revelations. We should have an understanding of what this year eight we should have half of an understanding. Half of the information will have been given to you by March 10th. This could be related to something personal in your life, but this is also a collective message. Uh, so the way that it resonates for you personally is also going to be, it's only a smaller reflection of what's also happening globally that's going to be a reflection for us all. There's a lot of numbers tied up into this conversation. Like I said, it's we're dominating in the master number 11, but 919 is a significant number. I told you all those variants, 56, 38, 47, 911, 411, 711, 511. Um, there's a lot of variants, 919. Um, and I'm gonna start talking about them all, but I wanted to start with the master number 11. This is just as much as I could say in 10 minutes. 
And uh, if you guys want to talk about it more, then we can talk about it more.